There's so much more I could ask you, but just tell us how long does it take to, to rewire to change bad habits? Because as I'm listening to you, I know that I've got some bad habits <laughs> and that I need to work on and I'm going to be rereading and rereading this book. Oh, and okay. I think so many of our listeners will be as well. So how long does it take? And, and give, us, give us some encouragement. <laughs> well, it's really not that difficult. This is the whole thing. Our brain um, it does what our mind does. Our mind and brain are separate things. So whatever you decide with your mind will then rewire your brain. So all these bad habits, bad eating patterns, um, the modern American diet taste that we get used to, you know, you're going to withdraw from them. Yeah. They, it's more addictive than cocaine and heroin, the modern mm. American diet. Wow. So you like you would go through withdrawal from heroin, you will go through withdrawal headaches, etc. But it's not, a, it's not a difficult thing to do once you set your mind, because your mind's more powerful than your brain, your brain controls your body. So your mind will change your body. It will rewire what you've wired in, you can wire out. So that's the first thing, bit of hope, that there is hope. And it's also a cycle of three cycles of 21 days. Mm. So I talk about 63 days to think and eat yourself smart. And in, in my book, I have three sections, one where it tells you about the problems, one where it shows you the impact on your brain and body, and the third part, how do you make the change? And mm. then I have an online that goes with that, where it teaches you it's over 63 days. So it's a matter of understanding how do I rethink, how do I handle food ads, how do I rebuild my pantry, you know, what do I do? So it's really within... Honestly, it's three, six, nine weeks. One can have a complete wow. and utter change in your body, your pantry, and you'll you the difference and in children's behaviour. Most kids these days that are being referred for learning issues, when you when you manage the diet, those drop away, concentration, attention, because th it immediately that food goes across the blood-brain barrier into your brain, and it starts shrinking parts of your brain and putting like glue-like blobs just for the sake of making science easy, like glue-like little blobs where yeah. the brain fires, it affects the electrical chemical balance. So cognition, memory, all these things are impacted. And if you don't deal with it, it's long-term impact. You know, so we've seen kids as young as two with obesity, even younger, babies are born obese. So the way we eat as parents impacts our kids too. Mm. So we literally almost have to rewire what we, even your great grandfather has affected. So fathers mm. affect girls, yeah. men, you know, so it's no one's, the patterns pass through the bloodlines. So mm. we, we need to think of our generational impact. Also, if we support those industries, what are we leaving for our kids in future in terms of, you know, produce and land and that kind of thing? Because we're getting des deserts forming globally. You know, it's really become a very significant issue now in this generation. Yeah. And our kids are really going to be impacted. By the time our grandchildren are here, we don't make some significant changes. Mm. There's going to be a massive food issue and diseases are increasing. And I don't think God wants that for us. I mean, that's not... That's not what he came to give us life abundantly. Yeah. So we have absolutely. to take responsibility for biological needs, which is a need. We have to feed, we have to eat.